Praise the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. It's been great tonight with all the worship and with all the prophecies. And I know that for you tonight, Jesus is more than enough. You can't give up. Christ is on the throne. And whatever has happened in the past, you failed in the past, Jesus is now here to bless you. I'll be blessed. I will be blessed. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. How great you are. And your only begotten Son Christ is Savior, is Healer, is Redeemer, is the one that can do all things. And it can go beyond our problems here tonight. I pray, Lord, you visit everyone tonight in Jesus' name. We will not give up. All our problems you will solve. I will pray, Lord, tonight, mighty miracles, mighty healing, mighty salvation, mighty deliverance. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we're looking at Matthew chapter 11. And I'm reading from verse Matthew chapter 11, we're looking at verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And then it tells us in verse 29, it says in verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest. Tonight, you'll find rest. Rest in your soul. Rest in your spirit. Rest in your family. And rest in your life all through in Jesus' name. You shall find rest unto your souls. It says in verse 30, for my yoke is easy and my body is light. We're talking tonight about the invitation of Christ. And as we respond to that invitation, great will be the miracle power of the Lord walking in your life, in Jesus' name. Have you heard what he said? He said, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. And then he said, you'll find rest for your soul. Tonight I'm talking to you on coming with undeniable expectation to the mighty liberator. you come with expectation, knowing you cannot be denied, and knowing you will not be denied, coming with undeniable expectation to the mighty liberator. Look at that again. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor, and every lady he invites all, the low, the high, the sinner, the sick, the one that is oppressed, suffering in life, come unto me. And he says, all of us can come. And tonight, you will come. And as you come, there will be rest for your soul. Because it says, I will give you rest. The one that never lied said, I give you rest. The one that has all power to fulfill every promise that he makes, it says, I 
will give you rest. The one who has given rest to other people, restoration to other people, regeneration to other people, the one who has given you life to other people, in many generations has said, I will give you rest. That word rest, what does that mean? Release from slavery. You'll be toiling, you'll be suffering under slavery. And now he says, come, I'll give you rest tonight. There's release from slavery in your life in Jesus' name. Number two, that rest means recovery from sickness. When you're sick and you have pain, and you are tossing here and there, and you do not know how you will get any relief. But Christ says, I, the healer, the great physician, I will give you rest. He'll give you recovery from sickness. Rest, what does that mean? It means the restoration of your soul. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, he restores my soul. That's the rest when your soul has been facing turbulence. And now you come to the Lord, the one that is able to tell that storm in your life, peace be still. Tonight, there is peace for you. Tonight, there is serenity in your life in Jesus' name. Because it says, I will give you rest. That's restoration of the soul. Number four, it means also relief from suffering. Any kind of suffering. Christ has come. He said, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Then he said, I am come. Tonight, he has come to you. He has come to your family. He has come to turn every negative thing out of your life in Jesus' name. He comes to give relief from suffering. And now, refreshing of the spirit. When you feel dry, you feel weary, you feel tired, you feel as if everything is upside down in life. Then Christ comes. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's talking about refreshing for your spirit. And now rest, residing under his shelter. He has a shelter that no evil can penetrate. He has a shelter that nothing come in from the powers of darkness can penetrate. And he says, come unto me and I will reside and make you reside under my shelter. Now he, he says, come. You have to come. Come unto me. You have to come unto him. Then he says, all ye that labor and heavy laden. You have a heavy load on your heart. A heavy load on your mind. A heavy load that is pressing you down. Almost want you to sink into the earth. And then you want life from the Lord. There is today reassurance of full salvation. He'll save your soul. I said he'll save your soul. And everything that you have thought impossible in life, everything becomes possible tonight. Possible tonight. I said possible tonight. That's the reason why hearing the Lord, the Messiah, hearing the Lord, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, hearing the Lord, our Savior and Redeemer. Now, you should be able to tell if you want an end to all those problems that you have faced. The problem of slavery, the problem of sickness, the problem of weary, dreary soul, and the problem of suffering, and the problem of no shelter, and no protection, and no security. Now that you have heard that Jesus said, come, and then all those problems are solved, today is your day to come. 
Tonight is your night to come. And you come with undeniable expectation because you are coming to the mighty librator. There are three things I'm going to show you as we look at the message tonight. Number one, the unlimited power of our librator. The unlimited power of our librator. No matter how great, how big your problem is, your sickness is, your attack is, your, op your oppression is, or your affliction is, we have a Christ, a Savior, a Redeemer that will set you free tonight because he has unlimited power. I said he'll set you free tonight because he has unlimited power. Number two, the unchangeable precondition for our vibration. He gives a condition. He says, do this, and then I will do that. You saw it in that sentence I read to you. Come unto me. That's the precondition. And that precondition is still operative and applicable today. You do that, come unto me. And then it says, I will give you rest. You have to combine those two parts of the sentence. Part one, come unto me. That's the precondition for our liberation. And it is unchangeable. And then point number three, it will now give us unfailing performance for the liberated. Unfailing performance for the liberated. That liberation is coming to you tonight. Salvation is coming to you tonight. Deliverance is coming to you tonight. It is yours in Jesus' name. Look at number one there. Number one is the unlimited power of our librator. Look at Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 there. And hear the risen Lord, hear him talk. And hear the great librator, hear him talk. And hear the one who is the same Yesterday and today and forever, hear him talk and hear him talk to you about his power. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power, all power, all power, all, all, all power to dissolve any problem. All power to move any mountain. All power to heal any sickness. All power to destroy every work of the devil. All power is given unto me in heaven and in her. All power resides in Christ. Christ, our Savior. Christ, our healer, and it comes tonight, it will manifest that power in your life. I said, it will manifest the power in your life. What kind of power? Power to forgive and to set free. He told those people, he said that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. Then he told the paralyzed, rise up and walk. Tonight, that power is there. It will forgive every sin you ever committed in your life. The power to forgive and to set free. The power to save and to strengthen. You know, he has power to save you. You need salvation. And it comes with salvation. Not only that he has power to save he has power to strengthen after you are saved. The power to so strengthen you, you will walk upright. You will stand upright. And all the temptations and trial that you used to put your face, your nose on the mold, he'll make you stand because he has the power. 
the power to save and the power to strengthen. That's why he said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He also has the power to heal and to keep you stronger and make you whole. If there's anything missing in your body, like, you know, your maimed, or maybe your eardrum is no more there, or the womb is no more there, or one part of the body is lost, he has the power to heal. And he also has the power to make you whole. Tonight, he'll make you whole. Tonight, he will remove every sickness, every pain, every infirmity out of your life tonight in Jesus' name. The power to heal, the power to make you whole, it'll touch your brain, it'll touch your mind, it'll touch your body, and every part you'll be every week whole tonight in Jesus' name. He announced, he declared, he proclaimed to the people, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He has the power to deliver and then to give you dominion. Power to deliver from every evil spirit, every evil power. Power to deliver from any oppression, any attack, any powers of darkness. And then, after he has delivered you, he will give you dominion. Somebody shout, dominion. dominion. He will give you that power in Jesus' name. If there is any substance binding you, if there is, you know, like, you know, you're addicted to tobacco, to addicted to alcohol, addicted to any kind of substance, had drugs, tonight, deliverance has come for you in Jesus' name. Are we not before the one who has announced and before the one who has declared that all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth? And then he'll give you the power to overcome the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh. The works of the flesh. All those uh, bad habits, all those evil things, all those sinful acts of your life. Power is coming upon your life tonight and you will overcome. Somebody there, I'm talking to you tonight. I said the power to overcome the flesh will come upon you in Jesus' name. And he has the power to break every yoke. Think about it. Think about it now. A yoke in your life. Wherever that yoke is coming from, it's coming from the pit of hell. It's coming from the people that hate you and they said something and you say, this has been happening to me tonight. That yoke is broken in your life in Jesus' name. And the power to remove every mountain. That mountain that stands before you. That stumbling block that stands before you. The power to remove all that mountain and all the stumbling block you're doing tonight. Who are the people expecting it to be done? Where are the people expecting it to be done? It will be done tonight in Jesus' name. All power is given unto him in heaven and on earth. Look at Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Then it says, who went about doing good, he'll do good in your life. When he forgives your sin, that's doing good. When he saves your soul, that's doing good. When he wipes your tears away, that's doing good. When he raises you up from that bed of affliction and sickness, that's doing good. He's going about tonight. He'll get to you there. 
I said he'll get you there. Going about doing good and healing all, all the paralyzed, healing all, all the blind, healing all, all the deaf and dumb, healing all, all the lame, healing all, all the cancer patients, healing all, all the people that have incurable disease, healing all. It's coming to you. What are you? It's coming to you. Healing for you tonight in Jesus' name. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Is here tonight. The unlimited power of our liberator. Look at number two. Number two is the unchangeable precondition for our liberation unchangeable precondition you see what do i do how can i make him to give me that rest that restoration that regeneration that righteousness that release what do i do what is the precondition Look at what the Lord himself has said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 17. Wherefore, come out. Look at that. That's the precondition. You want your sins to be forgiven? And you want all the yokes to be broken? And you want the rest, the release, and the relief to come unto you? Wherefore, come out. Come out from among them. And be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will, I will receive you. You see the two parts of the sentence there. Part one, come out. Part two, I will receive you. And then in verse 18, it says, I will be a father unto you. Come out, I'll be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and my daughters. Come out, and ye shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. What's the precondition there? Something you must do, something everyone must do before they'll get the rest, before they'll get the restoration, before they'll get the reassurance. Come out. Look at Revelation chapter 18. We're looking at verse 4. Chapter 18, reading from verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues. Look at that. Come out. It's telling us, he said it in Matthew, the beginning of the New Testament. And it says it in Revelation, the end of the New Testament, and it says it all the way in between. Come out. And as you come, the blessings of God are sure tonight. Forgiveness is sure tonight. Salvation is sure tonight. Healing is sure tonight. Look at Luke chapter 19. Verse 5. Luke chapter 19, verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. Make haste and come down. You see, the precondition remains the same. And as the Lord comes to us today, it says, number one, come out. You have been in the gang of evildoers, in the gang of peculiar sinners, in the gang of criminals. The Lord is saying, is waiting for you here to forgive you tonight. And he'll forgive you tonight. But it says, come out. And let me tell you something. God tells us what you do. And he tells us what he will do. When we do what God tells us to do, 
then God will do what he has said he will do. But you have to take that stand. You have to say, I make up my mind. I come out, and as I come out, I'm expecting the blessing of God will be upon your life. Come away from darkness. You've been in darkness, operating for the paths of darkness. You've been in darkness, and you have been living inside darkness, and you make darkness to cover every evil thing you're doing, the Lord is saying, come away from darkness and then light will shine upon your life. Tonight, light. I said tonight, light. And then he says, come down. You're being at the top of the ivory tower of pride. You have been seeing I am like Nebuchadnezzar and no one else. You have been saying, I am like Pharaoh. And you are up there and you belittle all the invitation of the Lord. The Lord is saying tonight, come down, come down, come down from that tower of pride, that place of pride. And blessing will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then he said, when you come out, when you come away, when you come down, there's one place, there's one person to come to. Come unto me. Come unto me. The Savior, the only Savior, come out and come in. Come out of the kingdom of darkness and come into the kingdom of light. And come to Christ, the light of the world. And as you come today, praise the Lord. There will be joy in your heart. There will be freedom in your soul. There will be healing for every sickness you carry. In Jesus' name, come unto me. Come by faith. That's how we come. You come expecting. You cannot lie. He has promised, and he is faithful who has promised. And because he is faithful, you can come, come believing, come believing. And as you believe, he'll forgive you. He'll change your life. He'll turn your life around. You come by faith unto him. And then, now, I come down. I come out. I come away from darkness. I come unto him. I come by faith. And I come with him. It's not static. It's not staying or standing in one place. It's moving. It's going to the heavenly city. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you unto myself. You are going to heaven. I said you will get to heaven. As you come out, as you come away from darkness, as you come down, as you come unto him, then you come with him. You continue with him. You'll not say, crusade is over, and then Christ and me, that's over, we part. Come with him. Come with him. Come with him until you get to that place he has gone to prepare for us. You'll be there. Where are you? You'll be there. I will be there. And so that means the precondition is fulfilled because we come. How many are coming today? Let heaven see you there. How many are coming to Christ today? Let heaven see you there. How many are coming out? 
How many are coming away from darkness? How many are coming down from that tower of pride? How many are coming unto him? Where are you? Where are you? How many are coming into the light and they are coming into the kingdom of Christ? And then when they come, they will continue with Christ. Come with me. The Lord bless you there. The Lord give you a miracle there. And the Lord grant you salvation there. Let me come to point number three now. Point number three, the unfailing performance in the liberated. Tonight, there will be no failure. There will be no blockage. There will be no hindrance. The blessing of God, the forgiveness of God, the salvation of God, and the deliverance of the Lord will come to you there tonight in Jesus' name. The unfailing performance for the liberated, by the liberator, for the liberated. Look at Jeremiah there, chapter 1, verse 12, talking about the performance of the Lord. Then said the Lord, Unto me, thou hast seen well. Thou hast well seen. If you see forgiveness coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see salvation coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see healing coming to you tonight, thou hast as seen well. If you see the mercy of God, the love of God is compassion coming to you tonight. Thou as seen well. If you see miracles by the eyes of faith coming to you tonight, thou as seen well. And if you see the answer to your prayer, the solution to your problem, if you see that coming from Christ to you tonight, thou as well seen. What you see, the salvation you see, the miracle you see, the deliverance you see, will be yours tonight in Jesus' name. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou as well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. You didn't say amen to that one. He will quicken his word. He will hasten his word. He'll perform it in your life tonight. Praise the Lord. Forgiveness is available for you, everyone. Praise the Lord. Salvation is available for everyone. That salvation is conversion. And it is the ticket that takes you to heaven. Look at Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God... Nothing shall be impossible. Your case is possible with God. Your problem, easy. The Lord will solve it tonight. Your blind eyes, easy. The Lord will open those blind eyes tonight. And your deformity, easy. The Lord will recreate you tonight in Jesus' name. For with God, nothing, nothing, Nothing shall be impossible. Look at verse 45. In verse 45, and blessed is she that believed. Blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Tonight, there shall be a performance. In your life, there shall be a performance. Here tonight, without saying go and come, tonight you're carrying miracle back home. What are the performances of the Lord? That he says tonight, as you believe, there'll be a performance of those things which the Lord had told you. Number one, You'll be free and free indeed. Every chain, every shackle, everything that ties you, 
every habit that holds you down. Tonight, the performance of being free and free indeed. Tonight, you're free indeed. Number two, you'll be saved and transformed indeed. There are people who say they are saved and we cannot see the transformation indeed, 100%, that the Lord has touched your heart, your life, has turned you around, and the things I used to say, I say them no more. The places I used to go, I go there no more. The things I used to drink, I drink that no more. And the thing I used to smoke, I smoke them no more because I'm a new creature. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Give me a good amen there. And all things have become new. Your character will become new. Your behavior will become new. Your disposition attitude will become new because the performance of the Lord is, number one, free and free indeed. Number two, saved and transformed indeed. Number three, the performance tonight, healed and made whole indeed. I praise God tonight. I see healing coming your way. He'll make you if you are lame, you throw the sticks away now. If you hold on to the sticks, to the crutches, you'll be depending on them. But when you know that the one who has promised cannot fail, that's the reason why you throw the sticks away. At the, at the beginning, it's like you're learning how to walk. And you may not walk perfectly, but keep on, keep on. The performance has come, and you'll be made whole indeed in Jesus' name. If you have braces, I told you yesterday, if you keep on the braces, you'll not know anything has happened when you loosen the braces. And you know that the performance has come, and you are in the possession, in the enjoyment of that possession of that a glorious miracle as you take all those things away that short leg will grow out that withered hand will stretch out and that that looks impossible in the past will suddenly become possible in your life in Jesus name performance performance what's the performance deliverance and dominion indeed Deliverance, every evil power that has laid hold on your life. As we mention the name of Jesus, all those evil powers, they'll give way. When you hear the name of Jesus, they will take to their feet, they'll run away from you in Jesus' name. And not just that you have deliverance, you have dominion indeed. I have deliverance. I have deliverance. The Lord confirm it in your life in Jesus' name. When he talks of performance, performance of reconciliation and righteousness, you'll be far away from God. Your sin separated you from God. But now he says, come. And he, he reconciles the sinner to the holy God of heaven. And then he injects righteousness into your life. And so you are reconciled and made righteous indeed. It's coming. I said it's coming. When you come to Christ, then he takes you. He reconciles you to the Father. And then he puts the law for righteousness in your heart. And he puts the life of righteousness in you. When you come, he'll perform. He'll give you the performance, 
that the performance of being cleansed and clean indeed. You'll be cleansed and you'll be clean indeed. Tonight, the Lord will do that in your life. He'll make you clean. Bad language will go out of your mouth. Dirty language will go out of your mouth. Dirty character, dirty behavior will go out of your life. He, our Savior, He, the refiner, He, the transformer, the one that will transform us, He is the one that will do it. He will perform it in your life. He will cleanse you and make you clean indeed in Jesus' name. And then he will restore you and renew you indeed. He'll restore. And then he will renew a new strength, a new power, a new ability, a new desire, a new direction in life. When he saves us, when he redeems us, when he reconciles us, when he restores us, he also renews us. Your life will be new. You come with undeniable expectation to the liberator tonight and say, Lord, I come. When you come, you've taken a step. You've done something you know, he told you to do. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will, he said, if you come, he must do something in your life tonight. I said, he must do something in your life tonight. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I, the Lord, I, the Savior, I, the Redeemer, I, the one that cannot fail, I will give you rest. And blessed is she, blessed is he that believeth, for there shall be a performance. Somebody there tonight, performance. I said somebody there tonight, performance. Come, there shall be a performance. Believe, there shall be a performance. Of those things which the Lord had told him, had told her. Do you believe? Do you know the Lord is going to do that in your life tonight? He will forgive you. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will heal you. He will set you free. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. There shall be a performance. Come. There shall be a performance. Come out. There shall be a performance. Come away from darkness. There shall be a performance. Come down. There shall be a performance. Come unto Christ, the Savior. There shall be a performance. It's bowed and eyes closed. You've made up your mind. Tonight is your night of forgiveness. Tonight is the night of your salvation. Tonight is the night of your freedom. Wherever you are, raise up your hands and say, Lord, I am the person you have called. I'm responding to the call. Lord, I come. Out of my sin, I come. Out of crime, I come. Out of using all those hard drugs, I come. Out of immorality, I come. Out of the works of the flesh, I come. Out of the bad habit, I come. Out of darkness, I come. As you come, as you come, as you come, he, Christ, will do what he has said he will do. He will give you rest. 
It will give you relief. It will give you restoration. It will give you reassurance of salvation. Where are you? Raise up that hand and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Let there be a performance in my life now. Lord, I come. If you are raising up your hand, God bless you there. Can you stand up? You are raising up your hand. You are saying, Lord, I come. I come with my heart. I come by faith. I come wholeheartedly. I come determined that I will not go back again to those evil things I used to do. Lord, I come. You are raising up your hand. Where are you? Where are you? Can you stand up? God bless you there. God bless you there. As you stand up, tell the Lord now and say, Lord, you invited me to come out of my sin, out of darkness, out of evil, out of all that bad, evil thing. Lord, as you have called, I come. And I praise you, Lord, receive me. Because you cannot reject anyone who sincerely comes. Lord, I pray, give me that forgiveness. Lord, give me that freedom. Lord, give me that salvation. Lord, give me that new life. Lord, give me that eternal life. That's what you will do. You come with all your heart and you come by faith. And you come sincerely with all honesty. Then... He will do what he has said he will do. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Keep on standing and praying along with you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for those who have understood your call for them to come out. And they have responded and they have come out. And I pray the forgiveness of the Lord will come to every one of them right now in Jesus' name. I pray that your salvation, eternal life, will come to them now in Jesus' name. And a power for a new life, a righteous life, will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Let the joy of salvation come to them. And let the peace that comes with salvation come in their hearts right now. And give them the power to go and live as new creatures in Christ. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our state pastor. Pastor Sam is coming now and will lead us in this um, counseling period. And then I'll come back. There will be a performance of miracle in your life. Counselors, let's pray ourselves right to the bar.